Hey guys, Coach Travis and here for this week's programming breakdown. So this week in class, there is a lot of volume that is geared towards both the Jerkapalooza workouts and our assessments that we've been working on for the past month. So already this week has got a ton built into it that should help with getting you prepared for not only the assessments and doing the assessments, but also for the comps that are coming up. So our goal for this week was to try to fill the gaps with some things that weren't going to be overwhelming. We're going to overwork you and set you up for failure for your assessments. But we also still have some work that can be kind of filled in on the gaps and again, shifted around in the week to make sure you're getting everything you need for this week's programming. Now keep in mind, the four days that we program, I know we said this before, but remember those days can be shifted to any other day of the week. That does not have to be done on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's just where the information falls. So feel free to shift those around based on how you're feeling and also based on the assessments that are coming up for the week. So getting into day one, we've got a 16-minute EMOM. That's going to be four different sections repeated four times. The first minute, we're going to be doing an 8 to 14 calorie row. Now, what the goal is, is when you get to the 40 second mark, when you're going on that very first one, you're pulling as hard as you can, as quick as you can. When you get to the 40 second mark, see how many calories that you accumulated. And then for the next rounds, try to try to meet that same number that you did on the first round. Okay. So remember, stop at 40 and then do that on repeat. The second, we're going to be doing 25 double unders or 50 single unders. If you're working on your double unders, take this as an opportunity to practice those reps. And if you're not going to be doing or be able to do the full 25, again, stop at the 40 second mark, see how many you got, and then try to repeat there. Minute three, we're going to be doing the same thing on the bike as we did the row, an eight to 14 cal bike. Again, stopping at 40 seconds, trying to repeat that for the next few rounds. And then you've got a break built in for a minute. So try to push yourself on those first three, knowing that you've got a minute that's going to be dedicated to rest recovery so that we can hit it again. On day two, We've got an every two minutes times eight, that's going to be 16 total minutes of 200 or 100 meter runs. So the reason for the option here is if you are running that first 200 and you do not get back into the running area, the, the under the covered part of the gym with at least 40 seconds of recovery. So if it takes you more than a minute and 20 to get that 200, I want you to switch to 100s and try to go as quickly as you can running down to the, the end of the parking lot and back. So the goal is if you can get the 200s and allow yourself at least 40 seconds of rest time, if you're faster than that, it's even better. But the goal is to get at least 40 seconds of recovery time. If that doesn't happen, switch to the 100s and try to push yourself harder on those shorter runs. Day three, we've got an eight minute EMOM. This is going to be working on practicing barbell cycling. So we want to go for, for a light to medium weight. We don't want it to be super, super heavy. Um, and the goal is, again, to practice our cycling. So that's going to be the first is going to be five hang power cleans. So we want to practice boom, reset, boom, reset, boom, five reps there, immediately into three push presses, and then into one jerk. Now, keep in mind, this is an EMOM. So we want to go quickly on, that for, on those movements so that we give ourselves ample rest time um, on the back half before the next minute. So the goal is to try not to put the barbell down, try to hang on the entire time and to try to work through increasing your uh, efficiency with the hang power clean and then going straight into the overhead work. And then day four, we've got three rounds of eight right and eight left single arm kettlebell thrusters. The goal here is to start with a moderate to heavy weight and try to increase the weight over those three rounds. Um, Best of the Worst has this as one of their uh, pieces to one of their workouts. So I want to go ahead and start getting comfortable with that stimulus, that single arm kettlebell thruster, because you will see it if you're doing that competition. Again, guys, remember, be smart. Listen to your body. If you're really, really fatigued um, or if you're, if you're starting to have some breakdown, back off on um, the intensity or the volume that you're doing here. You will get a lot of work this week in classes that will help to prepare you for these events um, with these other pieces being additional stimulus specifically towards what they're looking for at the competition. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to grab myself, Coach Javi, Rudy, any of the coaches will be happy to work with you, and we will see you this week.